Hear the shots. What's the score predictions with you? 1-1. One, 1-1? One. One, one? Sadly, Sunderland won Bolton nil. Oh, oh never. Oh. Here we go, I'm here today with Wincy and Jonas. I'm having a nice Corona for the first time. Never had this Mexican bee before in my life, yeah, apparently. I am actually enjoying it. Apparently you put put some lime in it. I'm not a lime fan, but it tastes nice in the Corona beer. Well, it's match day. It's Sunderland versus Bolton. I welcome all the Bolton fans up to the stadium tonight. I hope you had a fantastic Christmas with your top YouTubers, Thog, Thogden, Thog Dad, and Stunt Peck. I hope they're at the match today. We might be able to see those and interview them if I can catch them I kicking about Thogden. somewhere. Thogden join us, yes. Watching Jack Ross's hibs. Hibs have just scored against Hart. Jack Ross is going absolutely mental. 1 0 up at five minutes. I want to wish Jack Ross all the best, doing a great job at Hibs. Happy New Year. At yeah. Hibs and a Happy New Year. <laughs> <laughs> oh, good save. Well, I think prediction of the day, I'm going to go over the same as Jonas. I'm going to go for 3-1 home victory. 3-1 home victory. Hopefully it's a good boxing day for the Sunderland fans. And the second half of the season, after we purchase some fantastic players in the January window, we can make the playoffs and make it back to the championship. Well, we have to believe and hope, you know, in the time of festive spirit. All the best, all the Sunderland fans and Bolton fans. Enjoy your day. Have a safe journey back home after the match. And we'll see you at the match. Happy Christmas. Have a good Christmas, Wincy. Oh, I'm in that. I heard your boss. Your boss has got great taste. Right. The boss. Uh, when, my, when my dog oh. loves something. See, your dog's called the boss. The boss, right? The boss. He's got great taste, red and white scarf. What red and white dog for? How excited is the boss? Look at him go. Hey. Have are. a good Christmas, boss. You get a nice scarf for Christmas? Tell you what, mind. I don't know the same news yet. Let's hope Sunderland are the boss today. The boss. Boss, you're hoping Sunderland are going to be the boss? Yeah, happy Christmas, Are Sunderland going to win the day? No. Hey, 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 hey definitely. <laughs> so, boss, what's the score going to be today? Wag your tail if you're going to win. Oh, oh is that going to be a victory? Score is going to score. <laughs> That's 2-0, 2-0. Get in, 2-0. He's up for it today. Look at him, I hope Sunderland is this excited about the day and this, have this much energy today. Yes, definitely. Nice one, the boss. We're in the victory club with Wincy. Wincy, half a hat? Is that hat keeping you warm? I am. Victory, I. Lovely and warm. And half a pint. Chalked as well, though. Are you chugging you? Go on, tiny hat. That's the smallest hat in the world. Down in one, Wincy, down in one. Can he do it? Can he do it? Half a hat, half a pint. Look at them go, look at that. Half a pint in 10 seconds. Some nice oh, merchandise there, isn't there? Good. 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 And do you know what he said? He said, look, the mad mistake. I do like your channel, but Bolton have a massive YouTuber called Thogden. And he's also, he's got his dad called Thog Dad. And they might be going to the Bolton match today. So I sent them an Instagram message and I got no reply. So Jonas is a little bit downhearted, but they're a busy, they're a busy couple. You know, Thogden and Thog Dad have loads of fans out there. Fantastic YouTubers, great people. And they've got loads of people to play. So they might not have checked Instagram. And... You know, what's the chances we were walking past the away end thinking I'll get a couple of Bolton fans on the YouTube channel and who was walking just about to put the tickets into the machine to go into the away end? It was Thogden and Thog Dad. And this is what they had to say. And Jonas was absolutely over the moon because he loves the diss track from Thogden. Watch this. I'm here today with Thogden and Thog Dad. All right, nice to meet you, mate. How are you doing? Merry Christmas. Yeah, we're doing well, mate. Excellent. Great work. Great work. Great work. Great work. up this morning, 6 a.m. Yeah. from London. 6 a.m. 6 a.m. from yeah. London. Yeah. Four doors, Walker Beach. 
Absolutely love it though, mate. Love it. Excellent. Yeah, we're racing. on the beach. We're racing. racing. Yeah, yeah. The shark, What's the score predictions with you? One one. One one. Sadly, Sunderland won. Bolton nil. Oh, oh never. Oh. I've got to be honest. Oh. It's going to be a Phil Parkinson masterclass. I've got loads of respect for Bolton. What they've done this season. Absolutely yeah. fantastic. Yeah. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank Great you. from Football Adventures. Oh, yeah. 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 I wish you all the best for the rest of the season. Yeah. 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 Love you still. And we've got a lot of respect for Sunderland. It's a massive club. It shouldn't be at this level. Absolutely amazing. Need to get back where you. Are they going to fold over the Jonas? I'm here today with Wimsy! Hello, I'm Steve the Rave! Are we having a prayer for someone? Have a prayer, have a prayer! Hallelujah! 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 What's the score going to be the day? I'm 2 1 to Sullen, 2 1. 2 1 to Sullen, who's the score? I am. Good night, and we'll go next week. Are we going to get promoted this season? Come on! Merry Christmas! Merry Christmas! Come on, mate! Nice one, mate! Nice one, enjoy! Come on! I'm here to deal with the steward. What's the score going to be? What's your name? What's the score going to be? 2-0. 2-0. Who's the score going to be? Who's the score going to be? Come on, the lads! 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 Half nine. Half nine. Look at that. Top yes. five. One one. one did one. you enjoy your Christmas? Yeah, I did. I was working yesterday, but what you working? Where at? But, uh, Manchester Airport. One. Oh, nice one. So you're making a one one draw, do you? Yeah, one one draw for you know, I've got loads of respect for Bolton. Absolutely fantastic. Been through the run of the mill. Football ventures. Thoughts on football ventures? Shocker. Shocker? Football ventures, yeah, yeah. Who owns the club now? Um. Sharon Breton. Oh, right. I didn't yeah. realise. Oh, right. Yeah, yeah, nice not one. Football ventures. No, no. I thought right. football ventures. No, no. There was supposed to be a consortium, but. Right. Um, Who's your favourite player at Bolton? Ronan Darcy at the minute. Darcy, I don't know. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. There's, there's a few. Why? Who's going to score the goal today? Uh, Daryl Murphy. Oh, Murphy, excellent yeah. player, ex Newcastle player. Yeah. I wish you all the best, mate. Yeah, you Have too, a good bro. day, mate. Have a good day. Thank yeah. you. Thank all you. The best. Happy all Christmas. Best. Tom Flanagan's. The shirt of Tom Flanagan accidentally brushed against the goalkeeper, Matthews of Bolton. So it was disallowed for obstructing or fouling the goalkeeper. It's absolutely pathetic. How can you foul the goalkeeper if you just brush them? Just brush the side of the arm like that. It was basically. I mean, let's face it, this day and age now. Referees want to have a perimeter around the goalkeeper of five feet. Anybody goes inside five feet of the goalkeeper, it's disallowed. It's pathetic. It's garbage. The referee, the referees are spoiling League One. They are absolutely clueless, inept, garbage referees. It, I mean, that, that was a perfectly good header. He got in front of the goalkeeper. As I show you now, he never touched the goalkeeper. The goalkeeper was weak as piss. And it Half time with Southern Hill Bolton. Neil, what's your thoughts on half time, mate? I'm dead mixed, dead mixed. I'm not being impressed with anybody across the hall. Right at all, right? But it's Christmas, and I'm here for the entertainment. Exactly. Right? Ben's up there, Owens is up there. I'm coming down here to see, see something a bit more exciting in the second half. Why was that goal disallowed by Tom Flanagan? I didn't see, I couldn't see it too far Did away. he foul us? Did he foul somebody? I couldn't see. All I've seen so far seems to be corner after corner after corner. But no and good put, product. And no product at the end of exactly. it. Exactly. What's the final score going to be? I was hoping, and I could safely say, I thought we could beat these 3-0 today. The secret is to keep this clean sheet. Exactly. The secret one is to nil, keep this clean 2-0, 3-0. Let's see 2-0 in the second half. 2-0. Two oh, nil, second off. Happy Christmas! Happy Christmas, Mick! Exactly! Come on! <laughs> Come on! 70 minutes gone, Mick. Happy Christmas, but what is your thoughts on the game? Absolutely disgraceful. Terrible. Just, I can't see them scoring whatsoever. Why have we only got one up front? I don't know. 
unbelievable. Absolutely unbelievable. I noticed the south stand of the rope around singing for Super Kev, the one Super Kevin Phillips is the manager. What's your thoughts on that? Oh, if you've got to have a change, man, you've got to have a change again. He's got goal life. I mean, get beat the deal, please. It's embarrassing. It's embarrassing. Well, it's nil nil. And it's 50-50, but it's so boring. We, we got nothing up front. It's so one-dimensional. It's just unbelievable. Who could we bring on? Will Grigg? Can Will Grigg set the place on fire? I hope so, but I can't say it. Will Grigg on? What's your thoughts? Oh, this is modern. It's flat. It's boring. If they score, if they score, we will not score in this game. It's boring as fuck, isn't it? Pardon me French, but it's like Parlebu Vons here. It's terrible, it's, isn't it? It's, it's flat, it's horrible. They're winning everything in the air. Will we, Griggs running up the line. We've had two weeks rest, and this is what we come up with. Absolute garbage, isn't it? Morgan, what's your thoughts? Shit. What do you think, Morgan? Civil? Was it shit? I'm speechless. It's so slow. What would you do, Morgan, if you were the manager? If I was the manager, I'd leave. <laughs> Can't be that bad, man, surely. Is that why the Bolton fans are all singing? You'll be sacked in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> on the Johnny's net! Who put the ball in the Johnny's net? Who put the ball in the Johnny's net? Super Kevin Felix! Super! Super Kev! Super! Super Kev! Super! Super Kev! Super Kevin Phillips! Here we go, a big Merry Christmas to everybody out there. I hope the Bolton fans all have a safe journey home. Yes, yeah, so the match started. I mean, what is Phil Parkinson trying to do to the fans? Is he, is he trying his best to isolate himself away from the fans? Playing one up front, Charlie Wyke. You've got likes of Will Grigg and McNulty on the bench. And, to be honest, you know, Chris Maguire had a great match against Blackpool. Made the assist for Charlie White, also nearly made a brace assist for Charlie White. So what does Phil Parkinson do? Put him on the bench for today's match. It's absolutely unbelievable. What is Phil Parkinson trying to do? He's trying to isolate himself away from the fans. And the fans weren't happy. They were singing, Super Kevin Phillips, we want you at our ground. And also, he had Ledbetter. He started Ledbetter, the slowest midfield in the world. We have the slowest midfield in the absolute universe, Max Power and Grant Ledbetter absolutely like, I'm not saying the dinosaurs because they're not, because Max Power is quite young, but Ledbetter is slow as old and they can make a fantastic coach, but at this moment in time he'd be no good on the pitch and it proved we were slow, we had one person up front, Charlie Wyke, and he is slow as old Nick as well, yes, St Nick, he's really short, slow Charlie Wyke, and he got no service to be fair to the day, but we did score absolutely peach of a goal, brilliant finish from Tom Flanagan, and the referee decided to disallow us because Tom Flanagan's the shirt of Tom Flanagan accidentally brushed against the goalkeeper. So at half time it went in nils a peach and the second half started and to be fair we weren't that much better. We had one or two, you know, we huffed and we puffed but we couldn't blow down the Bolton's goalkeeper at all and the goal and it, it stayed one, it stayed one nil. I wish it stayed one nil. It should have been one nil. Perfectly good goal. Disallowed and I'm sure Thugden and Thug Dad would agree with me because they, they really are top YouTubers. Check their channels out. Brilliant YouTuber Thugden. Absolutely fantastic Bolton fan. And like I said before, I do wish Bolton all the best. I hope they can somehow magically survive in League One. But if they get relegated, I do hope to come back as champions in League One, League Two next season. Brilliant YouTuber Thugden with the support of Thug Dad. Absolutely fantastic. Fantastic you know, celebrities in their own right on YouTube and Instagram and all this other kerfuffle. But they will agree that it was a perfectly good goal from Tom Flanagan. It should never have been disallowed from the referee and the referee. You know, it's absolutely pathetic by disallowing that goal. I'm sorry, it's just my opinion. I may be wrong. I may be looking through, you know, red and white blinkered eyes. But, I, you know, for me, it was a perfectly good goal. You know what it is? I wanted... I want Phil Parkinson to succeed. I want him to do well. I want him to win matches and keep Sunderland, you know, pushing towards the playoffs. But 
the way he's setting up his side, it's not going to happen. It is not going to happen. So I'm really now disheartened with Phil Parkinson. I thought after a good rest, we didn't play at the weekend. So we should be absolutely in Bolton's faces today. 110% energy, passion, pride, will, the want, desire. And there was only Luke on 9 really getting in the faces. Tried everything today. When you got people like Ledbetter, you know, I love the bloke to bits. You know, absolutely fantastic player in his day, but he's over the hill now. He's past it. He hasn't got the energy to, to, to compete with the likes of, you know, the Luke O'Nines. But we need 11 Luke O'Nines in that pitch. I'm going to give John McLaughlin, you know, some praise today. He did really well in the goal today. And the defence did well. We kept a clean sheet. So we had likes of Oz Turk in defence with Flanagan, Willis, and then and Hume. So, no, they did really well. It's just because we got like the slow midfield and nobody up front. You know, it's okay keeping a clean sheet, but if you can't score a goal, you're not going to win games. Chris McGuire came on second half and he did his best. He made a couple of, I think he had a couple of saves to keep it to make from Chris McGuire. But you can't do anything with 15 minutes to go. And that's when Matt Nuddy came on with 10 minutes to go. It's far too late, Phil Parkinson. You've got to have two up front. You've got to go for the victory. It's no point playing one up front at home against the bottom side in the league. It's pathetic. We want to see Super Kevin Phillips come back into the fold now as manager of Sun Football Club. If you agree with that, please leave a comment down below. Please give the video a like. And thanks for watching. Please subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you on Sunday where I may be doing a live stream for the away match against Doncaster. Enjoy the rest of your boxing day. One more thing. You know, us as dads. We leave our family behind to go and watch the team we love, Sunderland Association Football Club, go and play. We leave our family behind on Boxing Day, a day when it's, it, it, it's a family holiday. But we leave our family behind to go and watch Sunderland play. And Phil Parkinson puts out a defensive side for a nil-nil draw. It's pathetic. I am really upset, really gutted. And it's time for Phil Parkinson. I think now, after that display, I know... I've been patient. It's time probably now for him to go. If I'm being harsh, let me know. But I think now I'd love to see Super Kevin Phillips come in and sort this side out. And, you know, show them how to play with passion, with pride. Show them how to play attack and football. At least Super Kevin Phillips has put two up front. <sighs> right, it's time to go and we'll see you on Sunday. I'm really disappointed. I know you are disappointed as well. The nil-nil draw. We doubt our lowest position ever in the world of football. The Sunderland Association Football Club in 15th place. Oh, just when you think it can't get any worse, it does. Enjoy the rest of your boxing year. I hope you have a great new year and we'll see you on Sunday. Here we go. I've got a magnetic decision maker. And I'm going to ask the question. Should Phil Parkinson be sacked? Should Phil Parkinson be sacked? Spin it round so it's fair, and here we go. Should Phil Partinson be sacked? Should Phil Partinson be sacked? Should Phil Partinson be sacked? And it says, bang on, Phil Partinson should be sacked on the magnetic decision-making machine.